love food, colored green, bell peppers, and long string beans, pickles, celery, cucumbers too. All these foods are good for you. Welcome to Storytime Cooks, where we learn about food through books. I'm Carmen Long, and today we're going to be reading The Night Before Easter by Natasha Wing, illustrated by Kathy Corey. This is a fun book, and you know what? Next week is Easter, and so it won't be long until it will be the night before Easter. Let's read and find out what happens in this story. Twas the night before Easter, just before dawn, not a creature was stirring out on the lawn, and everybody is sound asleep, waiting for Easter to get here. Our baskets were set on the table with care in hopes that the Easter Bunny soon would be there. And look at the kitty found the Easter basket. I don't think that's what's supposed to be in the Easter basket, do you? Some of you might like it if you found a kitty in your Easter basket. Sister and I were tucked snug in our beds while visions of jelly beans danced in our heads. Some of us might like to get all different colors of jelly beans for Easter. Then out in the barn, the hens made such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. And the chickens are running through the yard. When what to my curious eyes should appear? But a big fuzzy rabbit with a crook in his ear. That might have scared the chickens, do you think, to see that big bunny in their barn? He walked on two legs, which I thought was quite funny. No rabbit could do that except the Easter Bunny. And he has all kinds of things in his wheelbarrow. And the animals are looking at him like, wonder what's going to happen next. He sniffed at a pansy, a tulip, a rose, jumped over a shovel, a rake, and a hose. He's getting some physical activity in that morning, isn't he? Then up to our house in just a few hops, he came berry, chocolate, and striped lollipops. So it's talking about how the bunny's moving and the bunny actually hops. I think that would be a fun thing for you to do. Do you think you could hop like a bunny? I bet so. As I sat on the stairs, not making a sound, that swift dapper bunny sprang in with a bound. And he's going to fill up their Easter baskets, I bet. His soft fur was spotless from his head to his toes, and his vest was all checkered, his tie in a bow. He was fixed up. Look, he's got a checked vest on, and he's got a bow tie. His eyes, how they sparkled, his whiskers, how merry. His tail was like cotton, and his nose was like a berry. He's got a white fluffy tail and a little pinky colored nose, pinky red nose. He made not a sound, but went straight to his treasure. He filled up our baskets, adding more for good measure. I bet they're going to be excited when they wake up and see those beautiful Easter baskets. It's a good thing the kitty got out of there. Oh no, look at the kitty. Chocolate and chicks and candy galore spilled from our baskets onto the floor. Do you think that kitty might eat some of that stuff? It's looking like he thinks he should. And just when I thought that the bunny was done, he picked out some eggs looking over each one. He's got a purple one and a red one and a green, a yellow, a pink, and a blue. All colors of pretty eggs. He carefully hid them 
on couches and chairs, the fireplace mantle, the bookshelf, and under the stairs. He's hiding Easter eggs all over in their house. That'll be fun. When our rooster crowed, he turned with a start. He wiggled his nose and went to his cart. He sprang from the house with a single bound and bounced down the street without making a sound. His little cart that was full of stuff is almost empty now. All the stuff went into the little children's house. I read his note as he hopped, hopped away. Happy Easter to all and to all a great day. I think that might be a fun thing for you to do would be to have an Easter egg hunt. If you've got some plastic eggs, you can actually hide anything. You don't even have to use eggs if you don't want to. And you don't have to use real eggs. You can use like pretend eggs. That might be safer in case you don't find them all. Today we're actually making a fun little bunny salad. And it's really neat when we can play with our food and make it look like something that's maybe in a story or something that you um, enjoy playing with. But this little bunny is made out of a pear. And pears typically are green on the outside. This is a canned pear, so it has the peeling taken off when you get it. But if you used a fresh pear, you could leave the peeling on or you could peel it. But you're gonna wash your fruit first. Before we cook, we always need to make sure we wash our hands and wash our fruits and vegetables. So we're gonna wash our pear or get a canned pear. We thought that bunny looked like it needed some grass or some greenery. So we put some spinach underneath it, but you could use whatever type of greens that you might have, some lettuce. And then remember in our story, he had a fluffy white tail. So you could use some cottage cheese for the tail. You could use some yogurt, whatever you might have at your house. And then we decided that we would use some carrot to make some nice big ears for our bunny. They stand up straight and tall. So you can just slice some carrot. And it said he had a nose like a berry. We actually are gonna use cranberries for our nose. So you could just take a little piece of cranberry and stick on for the nose. And then we wanted some dark eyes, so we used some raisins. So you could use whatever you wanted to make your bunny salad, but this is a fun way to play with our food and get some healthy nutrients as well. Remember, March is Nutrition Month, and so we continue to talk about ways that we can make sure we get foods from all the different sections of our plate. So with our bunny salad, our greens would be our vegetable and our carrot ears would be a vegetable. Where would the pear go? Does anybody remember what we said this was? Pears are actually fruit, so they would go on this side. And then our cottage cheese or yogurt tail would actually be a dairy food. So it would go up here in the dairy section. You could be creative and make your bunny the way you want, but just make sure you get lots of good nutrients so that you can be healthy and you can continue to hop around and do all the fun things that you like to do. Thank you so much for joining us for Storytime Cooks as we continue to learn about food through books. We love food, colored green, bell peppers, and